Greetings, weather prognosticator Chad Merrill here with a look at the weather forecast for the middle of July. A sneak peek at when we can expect showers and thunderstorms through the remainder of the summer as well. Last week we talked about the rainfall departures across New Jersey ranging from 2 to 5 inches below average and that was one of the reasons that the corn crop has been suffering across New Jersey. But look how that changed with Tropical Storm Fay moving through. Rainfall is now above average over the last 60 days which is obviously attributed to the rain that fell earlier in the week. Slightly below average across northern New Jersey so Fay definitely helped and here's a look at the rain bands as they moved through New Jersey. Notice as the storm made landfall on the 10th of July how the rain spilled in across New Jersey, also the Delmarva Peninsula, and then the storm headed north through New York and parts of New England, but it brought some beneficial rain to the mid-Atlantic coast, but the rain missed most of the I-95 corridor in the southern part of the mid-Atlantic. So that is the Tropical Storm Fay radar animation. Here are the peak gusts mostly in the 40s and 50s and that includes jersey city had a gust of 51 long neck delaware 57 stone harbor new jersey 47 miles per hour laguardia 43 miles an hour further west only 38 mile an hour gust in philadelphia obviously tropical storm fay will be known for its rain legacy farther inland the rain is much needed along the interstate 95 corridor to the i-79 corridor over the last 60 days, rainfall is 2 to 3 inches behind average. And because it's been so dry, it's been so warm. Reagan National Airport has had 18 consecutive days with temperatures at or above 90. The all-time record is 21. The heat is coming for the Mid-Atlantic. Right now, it is positioned across the Southern Plains with a high pressure producing temperatures in the 90s and heat indices in the lower 100s. The jet stream tells the tale. This little trough of low pressure that's bringing the seasonably cool temperatures across the east on this Tuesday is moving out and making way for this heat ridge that is in the southern plains to move in. Meanwhile, this cooler shot of air across the northern plains that is basically going to move west to east and stay north of the mid-Atlantic. So we will escape that cooler weather, but we will bring in the heat and the humidity. Temperatures July 17th through the 20th, that is this coming weekend, ranging from 95 to 100 degrees along and east of Interstate 81, the heat index up to 110. Along the spine of the Alleghenies, this includes the Route 219 corridor, temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s, heat indices up to 96. And then along and west of I-79, temperatures in the 90s, the heat index very close to 100 degrees. The key frame time frames for widespread showers and thunderstorms, that would be July 19th through the 21st, that is after this heat wave starts to break down early in the following week, next week, July 26th through the 27th. And here are a couple of key dates in August to expect showers and thunderstorms. Not an all-day rain event, mainly afternoon and evening variety. The 2nd and the 3rd, the 10th and the 11th, the 16th, and the 21st of August. Also, if you have a telescope or binoculars, you will be able to see Saturn in the night sky on July 20th, Mercury July 22nd, and a nice meteor shower July 28th in through the early part of July 29th. The all-important Labor Day forecast as we see it, mostly sunny to partly cloudy that weekend. The only chance for isolated thunderstorms will be along the spine of the Alleghenies and the western shore of the Chesapeake Bay. Those will be isolated in nature, so hit and miss, and mainly during the mid to late afternoon. The beaches will be dry, much of the interior mid-Atlantic dry. Temperatures during the morning will be in the mid-60s in the Alleghenies to near 70 along I-95. Afternoon highs around 90 degrees along I-95. Coolest in the Alleghenies, so obviously thinner air in that area. Uh, so temperatures will be near 80 for the afternoon. Log on to almanac.com, order your 2020 almanac, or if there's a particular year going back that you want the almanac for, we have archived copies as well. Or if you like the digital world, you can sign up for Friends of the Almanac in digital format. Leave any questions on our Twitter and Facebook page, and we will get back to you within 24 hours. Have a great week.